Mabu, hi, this is Bob from Love Beyond the Sea. I have a channel about marriage to a woman from the Philippines. And so I like to talk about things that relate to that. I'm going to read an article and comment on it from geediting.com. It stands for Global English Editing. It's about body language and love. And I want to talk about why I apparently didn't do very well on this body language test or analysis. And I feel like I do love my wife, so please subscribe here. I've got many, many videos. Let's start in. This is uh, by someone named Lucas Graham uh, from January of this year, 2024. And they say, love is a complex emotion often revealed more through nonverbal cues than words. I can agree with that. Those deeply in love tend to display certain body language traits which if you pay attention to can give away their feelings without them uttering a single word. Understanding these traits can give you some interesting insights into the world of love and attraction. So let's dive into some common body language traits. They have identified nine. Number one, intense eye contact. The eyes are indeed the window to the soul, especially when it comes to love. They say those who are deeply in love often find themselves unable to help but gaze into their partner's eyes. It's as if they're trying to peer into their very soul. This is not just a romantic cliche, but a scientifically backed fact. Research has shown that couples in love tend to maintain longer, more intense eye contact compared to those who aren't. Now, I can't read everything here for lack of time, but I've been married eight years and eight months. I don't really <clears throat> feel like my wife and I have what would be described as intense eye contact. Maybe it's because I feel like love is more of a of an action. And that some of these traits, I think, come in more early on, let's say, in a relationship of infatuation. Just my thoughts so far. Number two, sign of love, body language sign subtle mirroring, mirroring. And what's that? This is one of those traits they say that I've personally witnessed and experienced in their own love journey. They say when my partner and I first fell in love, there we go, we noticed something interesting. We started to subconsciously mirror each other's actions. Whether it was the way we'd sip our coffee simultaneously or how we'd lean into each other at the same time, it was like watching a perfectly choreographed dance. This phenomenon, known as mirroring, is a powerful sign of rapport and connection. It's an unconscious way we show empathy and understanding. We mirror the person we are interacting with, copying their gestures, expressions, and body language. So again, I can't say I've noticed any mirroring, subtle or otherwise, with me and my wife, you know, as far as gestures and body language maybe an expression or two just from the familiarity i guess of being together so long but i don't really relate to this one very much number three frequent touching when people are in love the human touch takes on a whole new meaning it's not just about the big gestures like holding hands or kissing but also the seemingly insignificant ones a gentle touch on the arm pat on the back or simply brushing against each other while walking so for me now definitely I can relate to this one I don't know how you could be in love with someone truly in love with them not infatuated or in, in lust with them but in love with them and not want to touch them frequently I love touching my wife I guess I almost do it without thinking and I enjoy her touch as well moving on to number four body sign of being in love leaning in have you ever noticed how you naturally lean in when you're engrossed in a conversation or excited about the person you're talking to? They say that's your body's way of showing interest and connection. connection. And they say, uh, in love, this body language trait, leaning in, is particularly noticeable. When two people are deeply in love, they often lean towards each other during the converse, during their interactions, both physically and metaphorically, but again, not not for us, I guess. I just don't see a lot of that. And I do love her very much, and I believe she loves me. Smiling often is number five. This might not seem like an obvious one, but they say it's worth mentioning. When we're in love, we tend to smile a lot more. And they say, I don't mean just those big 
beaming grins. I will not demonstrate. I'm talking about the subtle, soft smiles that often go unnoticed. Hmm. I guess I don't notice those either very much. Not doing so well on this test. What about you? Number six, open body language. What does that mean? When it comes to love, our bodies have a beautiful way of expressing what our hearts feel. One such example is the use of open body language. Open body language is all about making yourself vulnerable and accessible to the other person. It includes actions like uncrossing your arms, maintaining an upright posture, and facing the person directly. I don't know, to me this seems kind of normal that you're going to talk to anybody this way with that kind of posture. I'll move on to number seven, nervous gestures. See, this is why I think this is about people early stages of the so-called being in love, which I would call infatuation. <clears throat> number seven, nervous gestures. I don't see this with my wife and I either. I don't know if I ever did. Even when you're in deep love with someone, they say, it doesn't mean you're completely immune to nerves. Sometimes your affection for someone can make you a little more self-conscious around them. They talk about, you know, when you're completely smitten, fiddling, you know, with something, or, you know, her playing with her hair during conversations, that type of nervous uh, gesture. And they say they're common among those in love. They're a sweet reminder that love can make even the most confident among us a little, little jittery. Don't be quick to interpret nervousness as a lack of interest. It could just be another sign of deep affection. I don't know. I'm not big on that one either. Number eight, frequent nodding. Nodding is a universal sign of agreement and understanding. But when it comes to love, it takes on an even deeper meaning. And they say um, when you're deeply in love with someone, you often find yourself nodding along when they're talking. I don't know. Again, this one, didn't I didn't check that off on my list either. Number nine, but I am in love with my wife, and I do believe she is in love with me. Nine, focused attention. In today's fast-paced world of distractions everywhere, giving someone your undivided attention is perhaps the most powerful expression of love. Now, I agree with this point very, very, very much. And, yeah, I think it's natural when you're just meeting each other and you're kind of falling in love that you give each other this attention. But I think when you're married, and you've been married as long as I have, that it must continue to be there. Focused attention, perhaps the most powerful expression of love. Well, it's one of them, and certainly one that, you know, some couples need more uh, help with than others. Now, I like this final thought here. They say, as we navigate the complexities of human emotions and relationships, it's fascinating to see how love finds ex its expression beyond words. And they say that uh, these body language traits that they have discussed are just some of the many ways love silently communicates itself. And while they can give us a glimpse into the heart of someone in love, they say, remember that every person, every relationship is unique. I would add to that, the longer you've been married, maybe you don't see these things happen as much. And that's just me saying. They say whether it's the lingering eye contact, subtle mirroring, genuine smiles, observe and appreciate these quiet affirmations of love. But more importantly, listen to your own heart. Then they conclude because at the end of the day, love is an intensely personal experience. It's a language that only you and your partner truly understand. That's why I can say I love my wife, she loves me, and you know, our interaction these ways may not match what's written here, and perhaps yours won't either. But it, it does help to kind of ask yourself, were we in love? Are we still in love? How do we know that? How does she know that I'm in love with her? How does, do I know she's in love with me? And maybe even talk about that from time to time. And they say, so keep an open heart, an open mind, and let, lo let love speak its silent language. So let me know what you think about this topic, whether you can relate to it or not, body language signs of love. And I will um, have to leave here and watch for some more videos about marriage with a Filipino right here on Love Beyond the Sea.